and welcome to this ValueMed presentation of the EBT Chol Total Blood Cholesterol Monitoring System for self-testing. This is a digital meter system. This is the starter pack on the left and we sell this with 10 total blood cholesterol test strips so that purchasers, new purchasers, can get testing out of the box. So let's open it up and show you what the contents is and what you get when you buy this uh, cholesterol test kit. Okay, so here's the contents of those box packs that we've unboxed. You've got 10 cholesterol test strips with an IFU, an instruction for users, and a code test chip. That's the 10 test strips. In the cholesterol start meter, you get the user's manual, some warranty information from Visengeer, and this is the actual meter pack. It comes in a little vinyl zip case. You get the digital meter. You get an auto lancing device. This is a spring-loaded lancing device that triggers and that's for taking your blood samples. Into that go these lancets. You get a pack of 10 supplied with the meter and you also get the battery for powering up the meter. So in the next step what we're going to do is put the battery into the meter and demonstrate how to set the time and date so that the meter will record and store your cholesterol measurements. Okay, so let's put the battery in this meter and set it up. On the reverse of the meter is a little battery opening port. You've got a little flange in here with clear plastic. Leave that because it makes taking the battery out so much easier. The battery, CR2052, just squeezes in and you'll hear it beep when it goes in. Now, don't put the battery compartment on because you won't have access to this little settings button here. Now, if I press that once, it's asking me to set the year, not 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, 2023. Press it again when you're happy, and it's asking me to set the actual month. So it's not January, February, it's March. Now it's asking for the day of the month. Now it's actually the 1st of March, so I'm not going to press the button, but you can select that right the way through to select the correct day. When you're happy with that, press again and it's asking for the time. This is a 24 hour clock. So we're at 2.30, 14, press again, takes you to the minute. Fourteen thirty. when I'm happy with that, press the settings button again. Now what's displaying and flashing along the bottom here is the unit of display. Now you can select between millimoles per litre, which is the standard UK setting, or grams per deciliter. To change when that is flashing, you just press and hold the control button on the front. And now you'll see that's jumped to milligrams per deciliter. Hold it again and it will go back to millimoles per litre, which is what I'm going to select for the UK users. And then when you're happy with that, just set the button again, the settings button, and it will switch off. That's all set up now, so I can put the battery compartment lid back on, and we're ready to do our first test. One final element of the test setup before you start testing. Each test pot of test strips will come with a code chip. This number's 404, and you need to calibrate the meter each time against those test strips. So to do so, you just take the test code chip that comes with the meter strips, insert it into the top of the meter, it will beep. CH, code 404, that's all you have to do. That meter is now calibrated for this batch 404. You'll see that on the side of the test strips. That will vary depending on the batch you've got, but we're ready to start testing now. Remove the code chip, the meter will switch off. Okay, so we're ready to perform our first cholesterol test. Open the pod of test strips and remove a fresh test strip and insert this into the top of the meter where the code chip was inserted. While you're doing that, prepare the lancing device. You'll see that's flashing 404 with a little drop of blood flashing indicating the meter's ready to take its blood sample. Unscrew the lid of the lancing device and insert a fresh lancet into the auto lancer. Remove the cap and your lance is exposed. Reposition the cap. I'm going to set this to depth 5. Pull back on the spring and you're now ready to do your blood sample. Place the lancing device firmly against the pulp of a warm, well perfused finger and release the lancet. There you go, blood sample forming. Let that form nice and naturally and when you've got a good droplet of blood, present it to the tip of this test strip. 
you'll see when an adequate supply is presented on the very end of the test strip, it will trigger the device quite quickly. If you have to feed blood in and it's not triggering, then the lance was inadequate and the sample too small. You're likely to get an LO low reading on the meter if that's the case. Do a fresh lance, use a fresh test strip, and you should succeed in getting your cholesterol. As you can see, near the countdown, 3.4 millimoles per litre. That's my total blood cholesterol on the sample, and that is how to use the EBT Chol total blood cholesterol meter. Thanks for watching.